Hey everyone, it's time for another episode of the Good, the Bad, and the Utterly video newsletter from the Danny app. I am Danny Ackerman of the Danny app, and uh, you might notice you're probably seeing this on a little bit different time than I normally release these videos. That's because I decided that I'm going to move things around a little bit and stop killing myself getting everything done for the weekend. So uh, you'll still get my newsletters, the written newsletter, on uh, Fridays in the afternoon. Um, but now the video newsletter will be on Wednesdays. Um, so it's okay. This is uh, going down in the archives if it's not Wednesday and you're seeing this. But, but that is when they will come out. If you want to stay tuned and see those, you can subscribe to the YouTube page to catch them first. That's uh, over at the Danny app. So what I've been talking about is that sales are up, the buyers are out. Uh, it's, you know, there's always this lull uh, between, oh, January's good, and then February kind of drops off, February, March, and now we're into April, and people got their tax returns, and they're spending money again. So the buyers are out there. So if you are not pulling those buyers into your stores and into your listings, we need to figure out why, because they're out there, they're shopping. I am selling a ton of stuff and crazy stuff too. Just, you know, I even sold a jacket this morning because uh, it's still cold back east. So don't count anything out. Things are selling. People have some money to play with again. So things will be pretty good now till the end of the year, uh, I suspect. And uh, this past week, got to have a Las Vegas uh, online sellers meetup group here in Las Vegas. And uh, we had the wonderful Janelle Elms here of the OSI Rockstars. That's the Online Success Institute, for those that don't know. And uh, Janelle is a fabulous teacher. Oh, I, I am an OSI Rockstar and have been for about two years because Janelle knows how to take all this stuff that's so technical and kind of boggles my brain a little bit and teaches it to me in, uh, in a way that I can understand. So I'm able to kind of take that and absorb it, and then um, I'll share tidbits with you. But if you want to learn all of it, you got to go over and be a rock star. And uh, you can find a link to that through uh, thedannyapp.com if you're interested. Um, but definitely a worth, worthwhile membership. And um, so Janelle was here, and we had the meeting, did a live store review, which was always fun. And then uh, Thursday, got to go shopping and. Uh, we got something exciting coming up. You're going to see a little, little, little sneak peek of what the, the uh, Danny App sourcing and selling workshops are going to look like. Uh, we spent the afternoon at an antique mall, and I got to share with some fellow rock stars uh, some, some of my knowledge that, that I want to share to all of you as well. So uh, be watching for that. That's going to be fun. And uh, it's flea market season. So I thought that I would share with you this week what I learned both shopping at flea markets, of course, but also as a vendor. I used to get up before the sun uh, pretty much every weekend. I, I had a flea market to go set up at, and uh, I would go and take all my stuff, set it up, stay there all day, and sell a couple hundred bucks worth, and, and then pack it all up and go home. So. Uh, I have, I have some secrets to share with you on that. The first one is, watch for those booths where generally everything is priced reasonably. If you go into one of those booths where everything just has these big giant prices on it, I'm like looking, I don't have prices on stuff, but if this was priced at $100 and that was generally the theme of the whole booth, um, walk away. Those are probably sellers who are either too emotionally attached to their stuff or too, they paid too much for it and can't really resell it at a good price. So just walk away. I know sometimes they have really good stuff, but there's a lot more stuff. Second is if you find a booth that has a lot of good things at a good price or you're not quite sure of the price yet, make a pile. Vendors are much more likely to give you a good price if you make a pile or you're buying at least more than one thing. Um, quantity, quantity purchases are always welcomed by vendors because then they don't have to pack that stuff up and take it home. Third is if they don't have a price on stuff, let them throw the first price. You might be amazed. Now, if I was out sourcing for this, I know it very well and I know what I would be willing to pay 
say, I'd be willing to pay 15 to 20 dollars for this piece at, you know, for me to resell at a profit. And if I were just to come out and say that, I might lose out on some profit because if I ask them and they say five bucks, which is what I got this for, uh, I just made 10 to 15 dollars I wasn't expecting to make right there. So always let them throw out that first price and negotiate from there. Third, sorry, fourth, <laughs> put on your poker face. Now, I get really excited about American Brilliant Glass, so I see a piece of this, you know, and it, inside, I'm just about busting at the seams. But on the outside, I have to act like I can take it or leave it. I have to act like it's going to get set back down if you don't give me a good price. So, uh, one of the things I was always able to do when I was a vendor at the flea market was kind of read my customers and know whether that item that they were looking at, picking up, thinking about, was bringing back some really special memory or just something they had to have in their collection or, you know, if they're with somebody and they're just kind of like, you know, chattering about it and excited. You can tell that and they're going to be willing to pay more. So for those vendors that don't have prices on stuff, they're going to key in on that and they're going to come in with a higher price than if you were just kind of one of those take it or leave it kind of customers that they really just want to make the sale to. So always be aware, keep the, keep the excitement on the inside, put on that poker face. Like these guys. Then the other tip, and this one kind of goes against a lot of what you hear out there. You hear, get there early, get there early for the best stuff and the best deals. I am not about getting there early. I'm about getting there a little later in the day. They're tired. They've been up since before the sun. They've had to haul all this stuff, set it up, and now they're looking at the prospect of packing it all back up into boxes, loading it all back into the car truck, and taking it home. This is the time you can make some killer deals. I would always, always lower those prices down in the afternoon because I just at that point wanted to sell as much as possible. So you can really work with a vendor, especially if you've got a pile and you want to get more than one thing, you can really get some super good deals. And so keep that in mind that those early vendors may not have been able to negotiate that good price because it was too early in the day for the vendor to want to come down that far yet. Uh, but later in the day, you can go snap up those good things. And uh, I've gotten many, many, many a good item later in the day. So don't let those time frames fool you. Um, so, got any more questions or comments or want to see what's selling over at Utterly Good Stuff? Come on over to the Facebook.com groups slash the Danny app page. We talk all week long. You can ask your questions, post your items, need help identifying something. We're there. And uh, you can also come over to the Ask the Danny app show on Sunday evenings at 5 p.m. You can submit items for review. Um, Myself and my host, Miriam Otto of the eBay Life blog, will go over your listing and kind of pick out anything that we see that you might be able to do to up your traffic, or if it's uh, utterly spectacular, you're going to get uh, five moves. And uh, that's, that's it for, for this week. I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet. And there's lots of selling to do, so get those listings up. The buyers are out there. See you next week.